Well, we had a pretty good little ice storm. You can still see uh, quite a bit of ice on things. The roads aren't too bad today through the old cemetery there. But yeah, things are covered nice. And it's warming up, it's supposed to warm up decently today. So hopefully a lot of this ice will melt off the roads. Off the main drags here, they're, it's pretty much all clear and melted off. But we've got to move a skitter this afternoon. Really, we're just waiting around until the ice gets off because the skitter we're moving's at Brandon's house at a shop. And man, the road going to Brandon's, we were out and about yesterday looking at some jobs. Me and Brandon were some excavation jobs. And <laughs> some of those roads we shouldn't have been driving on. There were some there were some pretty good some people had some uh, fatal car accidents here in the southwest Missouri area because of the ice we had over the weekend. It was uh it was pretty rough. I mean you can see all the ice on things right now. I mean luckily we didn't get any more than we did or there'd have been a lot of trees starting to break. It's been like the bad ice storm back in 07, which was a catastrophe. But today we're gonna get a skitter move. Like I said, we're just kind of, kind of hanging out, waiting around, playing the waiting game. There's, there's not much we can do but wait until the we get a little warm weather and ice melts off. Cause I'm telling you now, I went for a pretty wild ride in this here truck yesterday on the ice. It was a little spooky, little spooky the ride I took. Uh, we definitely don't want to try to haul any iron or pull a trailer down those back roads with them being bad. So hopefully the. This evening we'll get that get that skitter loaded up and get it to the job site and I'll probably even try to drag a few logs tonight try to make a little headway because we need to try to put the wraps on that job we started last week we need to try to get it done here in the next day or two get it done and get lined up and go to the next one so I guess we'll wait around another hour or two and hopefully the sun will come out and do some melting but you can see there's a pretty heavy coat of ice on things pretty heavy coat so I guess we'll wait. All right, we're gonna get hooked up to the trailer here. Now I think these, uh, of course, you can see you can't, well, you can see that you can't see anything out of the back of my truck. So that's one reason I prefer this panel hitch because I can line it up. Uh, once you know where you need to line up at, it's real easy to hook up to the panel hitch. Just using your mirrors and you just kind of take it easy and back by feel. Now I will say this, my new truck that's on its way, uh, one, the only change in my new truck from this truck is my new truck has a backup camera and why this 2017 didn't have it I'll never know. So I'll have a backup camera which me and Brandon we've talked, we don't really know where we're going to mount it yet. If we're going to mount it up high or if we're going to mount it back here in the bed, we're just, we're not real sure. We're not real sure. So that, well that, and uh, I don't know if I told you earlier, but this truck has a 488 gear ratio, which I ordered it that way. Now, my new truck has the four 430s, which I didn't really like that, that that was the lowest gear option they'd give me in the extended cab. The Ford claimed, the dealership claimed in the 2018 models, the only way I could get a 488 gear ratio was if I got a four-door truck. And I do not want a four-door truck. Do not want it. Uh, a four-door with this 84-inch cabbed axle configuration would be so long. This truck here is long enough. It, it can be hard to turn and get around places sometimes. So I, I didn't want to go with the four-door. I have no use for the four-door, but I don't know. I, maybe, maybe I like the 430s. I don't think we'll see that much difference in fuel economy, but you know, every little bit helps, especially when you put a lot of miles on like we do. So, we'll see. We'll see. But the one thing that concerns me is just pulling power, and I don't know if there'll be that much difference in the, in the 488s and the 430s. I really don't. Because before this, I had the uh, 410 gear ratio and the 350. And, I mean, it pulled. You know, it, it didn't pull bad, but, man, this, uh, this 550, these 488s, now this sucker will pull. It pulls good. All right, now, right now, we're waiting on Brandon to get here because we're gonna load that 540D up there and we're gonna take it to Brandon's shop to start doing some fabricating work to it. Put on a tree pusher and just a few other little things. That way it's wood's ready. And we're gonna take the uh, D model that's at Brandon's shop, we're gonna load it up here on the trailer and we're gonna take it to a job site. So we'll probably actually drag some logs this evening. The sun's come out and it's really starting to melt things. Of course, it's getting greasy, slick and nasty, but 
the road should be all clear now. The rest of the week, we're supposed to have really good weather, except for Friday, and it's going to dip down to the, the nasty stuff again with some freezing rain and snow. So hopefully the next few days, we can run pretty hard and get some timber moved and get some work done. So we'll wait on Brandon to get here. We'll load this bad boy up. We got loaded up here to go to Brandon's shop with this, just down the road a little bit. Brandon's leaving now. He's actually going to... Something we didn't think of was uh, part of the gravel road he lives on is in the shade, so he's going to go ahead of me and see what the shape the road's in before... Tipsy. Crazy dog. You should be chasing him. Don't you be chasing him now. So yeah, Brandon's going to go ahead of me and see what kind of shape the road's in before... We get over there and really have a catastrophe on our hands with the, with the skitter. So we're going to wait around a few minutes and hopefully the road won't be in terrible bad shape. We'll get over there and unload this and pick up the other one and be on our way to the job site. Pulling up to Brandon's shop now. Brandon's parked out in the road. No, that's the mailman, I guess. Somebody going through on a tractor. This is a busy place here at Brandon's shop. A little patch of ice there. Come on, male dude, get out of the way. Let him know we're turning in here. Come on, guy. This mailman does not believe that he's in the way, I don't guess. Brandon and the boss, Jill. There he goes, finally moving. Good old government employees. Let's see what Brandon wants to do here. It's changing of the guards right here. Brandon's bringing the other D up. And I'm going to take the old D down to the parking lot. Pretty good old skitter. We rebuilt the engine on it. Eh, you know what? We'll just leave the grapple up. Good enough. Now we've got the cover, the battery cover. It was we jump had to jump start the skitter, and we just put it on the truck to haul it over here. But we've got the battery cover for it. Uh, of course, it's got these 28L tires, which for us are very, very undesirable. Oh, try to get down before I can fall down here. Oh. Winch works. It's uh, had a new drive line built for the winch, PTO drive line. It's got a few drips that we'll address, but we're going to put a tree pusher on this skitter. 
take all this junk off here when I bought it. That's all getting cut off. We're cutting all that off. I assume this is for probably a, there was a brush rake or something on here at one time. This machine came out of Texas. So, yeah, she's pretty pretty good looking old machine. Seems to run pretty good. And I haven't yet decided if I'm going to sell this or keep it. Uh, it's been on my mind a lot to sell it here lately. Just because I found another skitter I kind of want. And we enjoy kind of buying them and running them and tinkering with them. It's fun for us. Brandon's already got us loaded up here on the skitter, or on the trailer. So we'll go up here and chain down. That even Jill's getting in on it. Get up here and get chained down. video right out of death fluid which is a pain beyond belief um, we ended up not dragging anything Brandon and Jill wanted to ride along so I didn't do any dragging but we did get the skitter unloaded and it's ready to go for tomorrow hopefully we can take advantage of this nice weather this week and get the job wrapped up done get it all laid out and bucked ready to go so uh, we'll probably start working on that other skitter Brandon, we were talking on the way home. Probably start working on it maybe tomorrow night. Maybe. Just have to kind of wait and see. Play it by ear. I'm not in a super big hurry, but at the same time, I'm, I'm in a hurry. If that makes any sense. So we'll uh, we'll have some more videos of working on equipment. I know you guys like to see that. I like to see Brandon in action. He's, he's really good at what he does, obviously. So we'll get uh, we'll get some footage of that tomorrow. It'll be nice to be back on the timber back to dragging some logs so look forward to that guys as always thank you so much for hanging out follow along with us be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't also be sure to check out everything at timbertracker.net uh, we got those rate cards adjusted for advertising if anyone's interested in advertising their company or business or products or service on there it's really pretty cheap pretty cheap i think there's six different options what we have so be sure to check that out i'm getting ready to back a trailer up and you can uh, download that timber tracker app for free and use all those awesome features it has or you can go to logger threads and get yourself some fine high quality logging apparel we got some new designs coming out of course we've got the harvester out right now it is by far my favorite so far the harvester a pretty cool design and actually we've had people I don't mean to be that guy but we've had people asking a lot about that image if they could use it for certain things to promote their business or put their company logo with it and I don't mean to be like that that guy but man everything with logger threads our our images we we have drawn up we have those custom drawn for us uh, graphic designers draw up all of our stuff so no, we don't. We don't allow people to use our imagery. Uh, I mean, one guy said he wanted to get it tattooed on him. I mean, that that's fine. That's cool if you want to get it tattooed or a profile picture or something like that. That's a uh, that's not a big deal. But we just we advise people not to not to use our images if they're trying to promote their business or company or wanting to use it for like a company image. That's that's something there. We're not real. We're not real cool with that. So. Uh, 
Uh, once again, those images are they're licensed and trademark under the Logger Threads brand, so don't don't be doing that. That's that's not cool to do that. But other than that, guys, thanks so much. Tipsy's really barking at me. She's probably wanting to eat dinner. Don't blame her. Tips. Yeah, she's hungry. She's wanting to eat. So me and Tips are going to find something for supper. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.